This is question number one of winter 2010, paper 41, mechanics. They have given a VT graph and which shows two particles P and Q and they move vertically under gravity. So let's try to understand what this means, this graph means first of all. Let's focus on the particle P. The particle P is in positive direction in this particular part. Okay, That means it is going up. From ground it is going up and that's why it is decelerating. Can you see? Its velocity is going down. After two seconds it is still decelerating downwards but because its velocity is increasing from zero. This is zero velocity right because this is zero level and it is becoming more in negative direction that means it is actually accelerating but the direction of acceleration is downwards continuing to with that which is minus 10 meters per second square it is understood all the time let's talk about the q it was rest at rest when it started and then its speed is started increasing due to gravity and it was very fast when we re when it reached at certain level okay so if i try to see the path in terms of a drawing the P particle goes up, stops and comes down, right? And it is very fast here. It was very fast here. It is very fast here. It stopped in between, which is the point at two seconds. This is particle P. What about Q? It is dropped from a height and it just fell down on the ground. That's it. That's it. That is the only explanation of this one. If I see the path of the two, all right, let me undo everything and let you know how to answer the questions now part one says find the value of v v is here at t equal to zero for p huh? let's write for p at t equal to zero uh, u initial velocity is v meters per second now they're asking us to find this so we can use the formula because we know acceleration is minus 10 meters per second square. Nowhere have they mentioned that the acceleration is minus 10. But we know because they're saying it is move vertically under gravity. This sentence means the acceleration is minus 10 meters per second square. So we have some idea about u, which is still a variable b. We have a. We know the time is 2 seconds. Can you see here? Time is 2 seconds here and time is 4 seconds here. Which one is better to choose? Because the gradient of this VT graph, which is acceleration, is constant throughout. So it's, it will not be wise to take this point. It will be better to take where we know the time. Time is 2 seconds. So let's write time equals to 2 seconds. And we know the final velocity is 0 meters per second if I only concentrate at this portion. Okay. So now we have everything we can find V very easily. So let's say V equal to U plus AT. V we know is zero. It stopped at two seconds. U we know is V plus acceleration is minus 10 and time is two. So we can find zero equal to V minus 20. V comes out to be 20 meters per second. All right, let's go to the second part. Given that Q reaches the horizontal ground when T is 4. So when Q reached at this particular place, it was on the ground. So the drawing I drew earlier, let me draw it again. This is the second part. Okay, so it was just dropped because initial velocity is 0. We can see that and it reached ground here. So what are they asking? The speed with which Q reaches the ground, we have to find that. Okay, so we have again had to find V equal to what? Do we know time? Yes, we know time, 4 seconds. Do we know acceleration? Yes, we know acceleration is minus 10 again. So we can find it. V equal to U plus AT. So V is unknown. U is 0 plus A is minus 10. Time is 4. So it comes out to be minus 40 meters per second. And if you don't want to write uh, minus because they are asking speed, they're not asking velocity. So you can just write 40 
meters per second. Okay, the third part. The height of Q above ground when T is zero. So basically, they're asking from which height was it dropped, right? So we'll use the same part again. So let's do third part here. Okay, U is zero, all right? Time is four seconds. A is minus 10 and now V is 40 meters per second and since this is minus I have taken so I'll take this as minus also so we can use this formula uh, V square e equal to u square plus 2 a s V is minus 40 which is like this u is 0 plus 2 times acceleration is minus 10 and s they are asking us to find out Okay, minus 40 square root is 1600, e equal to 0, we will not look at it, so minus 20s, alright, so s equal to 1600 over minus 20, which is minus 80 meters, and minus 80 meters downwards, but they are again saying, what is the height, they, they meant height only, not the displacement, so this answer we can just write as 80 meters, there is no need to write negative.